Hello, Jeff Zwerink here, and I'm glad to be with you again. We're also joined by my good friend and colleague, Ken Wolgamuth. He's a geologist, has been working in the field of petroleum geology for more than three decades, and is also the founder of Solid Rock Lectures. And today, we're going to be addressing and looking at the question of whether there is evidence for the passage of time within the geological features of the Grand Canyon. Ken, it's good to have you here again. Uh, again, I'm just kind of excited to get a geologist take on what's going on because, quite honestly, somebody can say, well, this is what the geology means, and I just don't have the resources to evaluate. So I'm, I'm excited about what we're going to do today. Um, I have been to the Grand Canyon a number of times, and it is just a fascinating place. And you know, seeing all of these layers, uh, there's just a lot of stuff going on. The, the specific question I have for you today is that within each of those layers, or in the, the different geological features, is there evidence that a lot of time has passed from any of those features themselves? Uh, there are multiple ways in which we find the passage of time. One really good example is that in the middle of the Grand Canyon, when you're looking at the pictures, mm -hmm. there's this red wall, which is, geologists have named it the red wall limestone. Okay. okay. <laughs> and a limestone is a rock that's made out of, rock, out of the calcium carbonate that comes from marine um, corals and marine animals in a shallow marine environment. Okay. So it builds up. So think... Great Barrier Reef, or think Belize in Central America. Okay. That's the way they're formed. Well, in the top of the red wall limestone, there are examples of valleys being cut in as thick as 400 feet, which demonstrates the evidence that the red wall limestone was deposited and then it was mm -hmm. exposed to weathering up at the land surface. So that shows passage of time. Well, that, the red wall that... limestone has caves also. So caves are most commonly formed mm -hmm. in limestones because acid rain right. falls down and it dissolves out the limestone. So there are caves. There are caves in the red wall limestone. That's fascinating because it seems like there's three lines of evidence pointing to age there. One is the fact that it's so, so thick yeah. requires quite a bit of time to build up in the first place. Yeah. But then you now also have, have something where this comes up above the sea level so that the valleys can be carved out. Exactly. As well as groundwater trickling through and forming the caves. Exactly. So this Powerful isn't, evidence. This isn't just one thing. It's kind of multiple lines of exactly. evidence just in this one yeah. feature. So do, what other sorts of features in the Grand Canyon are evidence that there's a long passage of time going on in the formations. Uh, another of the most powerful is that the sequence in the Grand Canyon are basically sediments and fossils of what geologists call the Paleozoic period. Which, uh, remind us what the Paleozoic era yeah. is. The Paleozoic period is older animal life prior to the dinosaurs. Okay. And it's made up of, of these quick formations. I'll just run through so, them. Okay, Cambrian. so prior to the dinosaurs means we're 250, more than 250 million years ago, right? Uh, that's correct. This window is from 540 million years to about 250. Okay, very Exactly, good. before the dinosaurs. So the formations in there are referred to as the Cambrian, Ordovician, Silurian, Devonian, Mississippi, and Pennsylvania Permian. That's a mouthful. And this was f worked out in Europe okay. uh, during the 18th century as the, ge as the fossil record was put together for the geologic time scale. Right. When geologists brought that European information over here to the United States, they found basically the same kind of sequence of fossils okay. of the Paleozoic. In the Grand Canyon, presumably. No. no. That's the intrigue. Oh, okay. This is looking at North America as a whole. For right. instance, I grew up in central Pennsylvania. And in central Pennsylvania, we are in the Appalachian Mountains where there is the Cambrian, Ordovician, Silurian, Devonian, and just one nice quick sequence. Right, okay. However, out here in this area, which is now the Grand Canyon, the Cambrian is deposited. There are no deposits. There are no fossils of the Ordovician and Silurian. Cambrian, Ordovician, and Silurian. Right. They are missing, which means that that particular part of North America out here in the West was not receiving sediments and fossil deposition during those two period, major periods in the whole Paleozoic sequence. Okay, so how does that mean that there's a, why, why does that indicate that there's a passage of time going on? Well, the fossils themselves, the, mm -hmm. the fact that there are no fossils means that between the lower formation that's Cambrian, right. then Ordovician, Silurian are, mi are gone, they're okay. missing, so there's passage of time of that until the next, okay. Sil to the, finally the Silurian. So the fact that you have this time and this time and nothing in between Ex means some length of time had to exactly. happen. Exactly. 
and we have a sense gotcha, of what those okay. millions of views are that it's pretty easy to look at the geologic time scale card and get them so so, so if so you've got a, you listed a couple of them here what would you consider beyond these two you know the 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 limestone with the valleys and the caves you've got the missing features um, if someone asks you, what, are, what do you think are the three strongest evidences for the passage of long periods of time in the Grand Canyon, what would you say? Well, as the geologic time scale was developed for the Paleozoic in Europe, we had the Cambrian, Ordovician, Silurian, and Devonian sequence observed in Europe and in the eastern part of the United States. Mm -hmm. Well, in the Grand Canyon, the Ordovician and Silurian are completely missing. There are no fossils of, that a, of those ages that are in this sequence. So Devonian rocks are sitting, Devonian rocks with Devonian fossils are sitting right on top of rocks that have Cambrian fossils. So that indicates that long passage of time between those two formations in that Paleozoic sequence that makes up the Grand Canyon.